For those who don't know, E stands for Electric Vehicle Experiment. This is definitely an experiment. This vehicle is going to be dismantled. This is the latest model, nicest car I've ever owned. It actually has working AC, and I'm gonna take it apart. <laughs> this thing is dope. You know, nobody looks at a Nissan Leaf and has their heart flutter. You know what I mean? Th th that's not a thing. We're uh, gonna test the suspension for durability. <laughs> You know, it's hard to look at, at a raisin like this and say yeah, it's cutting edge, but th this thing possibly could change the future. This first generation 4Runner will, you know, is, is our platform. We're just electrifying it, so we're just, we're really simplifying it if you, if you ask me. What's up, I'm Boston Kyle. I'm gonna make my dreams come true. King of Hammers, 2021. I'm going to be driving an electric race car and an 86 Toyota modified with electric drive from a 15 Leaf. Something new, something different. It's going to be awesome. What's going on guys? Will Baramita, also known as Will Spec. I'm James Massa. I manage the media for Will Spec Garage. Will Spec Garage, Will Spec Garage. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. It's not very quiet on the set. <laughs> Damn! So we're gonna disconnect the battery. All modern electric cars, they have a, a battery disconnect in them. Uh, before you touch anything high voltage, especially when you know it's live, which we do right now, uh, high, vo high voltage gloves on. You remove it. It's just, it's just like a shunt that uh, closes the circuit. We're gonna try to get the motor pulled tonight. See how far we get. I think that as we go, we're gonna find that we're gonna want to use electric drive because it's it can, it's way cooler in so many ways. There we go. High voltage. To the jack. See if we can't you know turn some heads, maybe get some heads thinking, and start going more and more towards uh, electrifying all, all things that roll on for. <laughs> oh, not bad. That's how you pull an electric battery from a Nissan Leaf. That was pretty smooth. We got all our fingers, all our toes. That went pretty good. Really not that complicated. It was a couple of nuts and bolts, three connections and a disconnect. Uh, so the gas engine's coming out. Gas motor's coming out, coming out today. We are removing the 22 hour E gas motor from this 86 4Runner race truck. This was a truck that was originally built by Dave Cole and Texas Jesus to race in Nora for a 1,000 mile desert race down there, the Nora 1000. And then it was raced by his son Bailey for I think a couple of years at Hammers and some other regional races. And it did well, it finished Hammers. And uh, now we, we, we got a hold of it now, we're prepping it and we're gonna remove the motor. We're gonna remove the fuel tank. We're gonna put an electric motor from a 2015 Nissan Leaf in it, in the battery pack, in the bed. And we're gonna make this truck electrically powered. Internal combustion engine is out. A Nissan Leaf powertrain is going in. Again, this is an experiment. Dude. Right there, that's 45 right there. That's at the narrowest. That's about as narrow as we want to mess with 45. And that's on the tabs. The tabs are on the bottom. We're not even cutting this chassis. Come on. Yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, dude. Woo! <laughs> 24 kilowatt is out. 
and it's going in there. And the good news about it is, it's gonna fit in between the roll cage. Oh. Up and put it in the we, could, we could pick that up. Let's see if the two of us can just pick, just, just an inch or two, just see what happens. Yeah. One, two, three. That's not too bad. Especially if we had like... Get used to it, bro. <laughs> I'm so excited. So where'd you download the instruction manual for this? <laughs> we downloaded the instruction manual for this somewhere off of Kyle's brain. There's been more and more electric cars on the road. We've all been seeing them driving around, but you don't see too many electric 1986 Toyotas. We're not really following much of a map. We're kind of just figuring it out and we're gonna do our best to document it. And hopefully someone can see what we did and improve on it and make, make one even cooler next time. So looking forward to seeing that. I think this thing is going to kick ass in the dirt. Some pretty cool stuff happening, like exactly what's happening here in this garage. This is, a, this is an awesome group of friends to be with, and we're working on something really cool. Through time, this is going to be easy. You should be able to do these swaps in a, in a couple weekends. It's like, a, it's like a good start for something to build for the future. And the, that's electric vehicle racing in the off-road. So I want to see it grow, and I'm proud to be part of, uh, part of the start, at least here in 2020. Shoot for the shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you land in the stars, right? It's like you should definitely try like the most wild dream, like make that your goal. And in case you don't quite hit it, like it, you you probably land something somewhere, somewhere really cool, anyways. Stay tuned. It's going to be a wild ride, and hopefully we see you out there at Hammers come February. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fire, 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 fire. Let's, let's, let's. Dude, what the f? <laughs> Why are you dropping that bro? Okay. Now, is that all the Milwaukee shit you need, bro? For those 10 millimeters? <laughs> Got lucky. It's like it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Let's relive in my okay. old racing days. Good. <laughs> Puts a tear to my eye. That's it. Fire on the set. Full spec garage. Full spec garage. Fire on the set. Fire on the set. It's not very quiet on the set. We're waiting for you to eat, man. <laughs> like consumer EV swaps, everyday garage guys being able to do this. Because I feel like you guys are the innovators here. It's never been done. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen many pictures of this. Yeah. Uh, down the road, but, um... <laughs> What's going on, guys? We're here with Wheel and Wine and Whiskey. And guess what? We got the whiskey in the background. You ever see an electric Toyota truck catch air? <laughs> Stay tuned.